Hi, this is Kelly Hill, technology reporter for RCR Wireless News. I'm here today with Greg Lynch, who is a networking lecturer for TAFE South Australia, Christian Gilby, who is director of product marketing for Aruba Networks, and Chris Leach, director of technical training for Aruba Networks. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks. Thank Hello. And um, I want you guys are starting off with uh, this announcement about uh, Aruba Mobility Academy. Um, Christian, maybe you can give us a sense of the program and, and what exactly this announcement is about. Yep, so the program's Aruba Mobility Academy, and it's an accredited program with colleges and universities that has a curriculum of a mobile focus for networking. As we looked at the networking programs that were out there today that have been built by other vendors, we saw there was really a lacking in a focus on mobility. And mobile and wireless has really become the primary way of connecting for the new Gen Mobile workforce. A few of the programs that do touch on um, networking and wireless today have really taken a, a consumer focus in terms of how they, they build networks. So we really wanted to take a, a step back with this program and really train um, tomorrow's IT workforce to really be able to design secure and sta scalable networks for tomorrow's environments. Okay. Uh, so what do you see as the gap between industry needs and an existing education for the wireless industry? Uh, and how are you trying to address this uh, with the Aruba Mobility Academy? Yeah, so with the Aruba, Aruba Mobility Academy, we've really built a program that has a foundation of courses that build uh, vendor agnostic knowledge in terms of RF and wireless design. And then we've coupled that with hands-on labs so the students can actually get hands-on with enterprise equipment and actually build and design networks. And Greg, would, would you like to speak to what you see there as the gap between education and, uh, and kind of that practical knowledge for the, for the workforce? Yeah, sure. So, you know, traditionally we've um, in the past we've run wireless courses uh, which covered 802.11, um, but we've been limited to the type of equipment that we've used in the classroom. So uh, we've used the Soho type, you know, products where you've got your Netgears and your D-Links. Um, and so the students don't really uh, get an opportunity to get their hands on enterprise equipment and, uh, and to be able to configure it. Um, and so while they get the theory, um, they don't really get their hands on um, uh, knowledge um, and skills. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about what this program is going to look like and the knowledge that students are going to be gaining from it um, and whether there's there are multiple universities who are participating and I'm wondering if there are going to be differences um, across how it's implemented. Sure. So, so as the, the other guys kind of talked about it, it's a combination of both lecture and, and hands-on uh, practical knowledge because, let's face it, Learning is best done uh, and hands-on. We, we've all sat through lots of PowerPoint lectures in the past, but really doing is, is what cements that. So there's both a, as Christian alluded to, a, a sort of vendor agnostic, but just Wi-Fi fundamentals, standards, how things work, you know, whether it's 11N, 11AC, RF design, right? All the all the new stuff that, that's coming at us today. Um, so there so there's that piece, and then there's specifics on um, configuring Aruba uh, next gen. Uh, mobility networks, and so the the goal is when they actually come out of the end of the the program, they'll have uh, they'll be ready to take the ACMA certification, the Aruba Certified Mobility Associate certification. So they'll they'll be able to um, either as a one semester or two semesters, we're leaving that up to the educators how they want to structure it. Um, they'll basically come out ready to take an industry level cert. So they so they graduate with you know, again industry industry certification. Um, so we're not, we don't have any specific uh, differences in the offering globally. Um, we're, we're basically leaving that up to the institutions and the educators to, to take our material and fold that into you know, to their offerings and, and regionalize it as needed. Okay. So following up on that, Greg, maybe you can tell us a little bit about uh, how this program fits into the school's overall curriculum um, and, its, and its overall approach to, to education about the wireless industry. Yeah, so we've um, we uh, we run an advanced diploma of network security. Um, that's probably equivalent to an associate degree in the uh, United States. Um, we uh, have uh, packaged the uh, the academy up as a semester-based uh, subject for our final semester students in the advanced diploma. Um, so um, 
Yeah, uh, essentially we run this course um, twice a week. Um, our students, you know, uh, as uh, Chris mentioned before, you know, we, we provide you know, a bit of a, a theory lesson, some PowerPoints and some demonstrations, and then the, uh, the students go straight into doing their lab work. And so we've, uh, we've configured up the infrastructure so that the students can uh, just come along, they can take their controller, their access point, they connect that into their own um, management VLAN, um, and then they carry out the labs um, as if they would in the, in the, uh, real, um, in the real workplace. Okay. Um, so uh, what are the challenges in terms of education for, for the wireless industry is that it's an industry that changes so quickly. Um, evolving new features, new standards. Just in Wi-Fi right now, we have Passpoint at, or Hotspot 2.0. We've got 802.11ac. Um, so, in in the context of this industry, um, what are some of the challenges in terms of educating students and future workers to be able to get a successful start in the industry? Yes, I think uh, from the Aruba side. Um, one of the core things with wireless and 802.11 is the base RF and physical layer is fairly consistent as you go from one standard from ABG to N to AC. What we do see as the new standards have come out is different encoding techniques to get the most out of the air. Um, so definitely there is a challenge in terms of the curriculum that you do need to update it every couple of years as the new standards do come out. Um, but the core RF design in terms of how do I pick channels, how do I design the power and AP locations, that's really been consistent as the standards have developed. But right, it is something that we do need to keep up with um, and we have to refresh the curriculum. So I'll turn it over actually to Greg and, and get his perspective as a, a teaching institution. Thanks, Christian. Yeah, um, you know, we've, uh, this is the second um, uh, semester that we've run uh, the uh, Ruben Mobility Academy. Uh, last semester, um, we concentrated on A to 11N, and uh, even just you know, in the short time between two semesters, um, we've already introduced, uh, or we've already introduced uh, A to 11 AC into the curriculum. So I have an update, you know, in between semesters on that. So it is, it is a challenge. You know, um, it's a very fast-moving environment um, to uh, to maintain just you know what what is the latest out there, and, and I see this program. Um, giving us uh, the, the ability to be able to continue to uh, provide students with the latest uh, information on wireless and to, to be able to give themselves um, hands-on experience with enterprise equipment um, that you know, normally they wouldn't have access to. Okay, great. And then I think there's, so in addition to TAFE South Australia, I think there's also uh, at least one school in the Middle East and Texas A&M too. Okay, great. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time today. I've been joined by Greg Lynch, who's a networking lecturer for TAFE South Australia, Christian Gilby, Director of Product Marketing for Aruba Networks, and Chris Leach, Director of Technical Training for Aruba. Thanks so much for your time today. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Kelly.